folks. Um, all right. Mr. Mean has been kind enough to uh, let me get on to his European account and take a ride in the Firefly. How appropriate that it's European. Um, so we're going to take this guy out tonight for a couple battles, see how she does. Uh, I like the way he's got it equipped. Got a gun rammer, vents, and uh, binoculars. So obviously, uh, and he's got a mark of excellence, so he knows what he's doing in this tank. Look at that crew, man. Super nice crew. Obviously, uh, they've had some experience, and I'm going to have to train up some micro. I don't have good crews on my British Lion yet. So uh, he's obviously had a lot of battles in this thing, and let's take a look at the service record stats. Yeah, 47, but 257 battles. There you go, 508 experience per battle. That's really good. So uh, he's got pretty decent damage and destruction ratio. It's right along line. So this is going to be, uh, he it looks like he kills about three vehicles per battle if you do the averaging, or two, two and a half, something like that. That's pretty good. So I'm excited to take this guy for a run. Now, I do have a bit of a cold. I apologize. If you hear me sniffling, it's like that. <laughs> It's because my nose is running, so... <laughs> Alright, let's go for a ride. Got a lot of scouty scouts on this map. I didn't realize it was called a Sherman Firefly. That's kind of cool. I thought it was just called the Firefly. We got this awesome 17-pounder gun. Basically the same gun that the TOG mounts. The AT-8 mounts it. The Black Prince, unfortunately, mounts it. <laughs> It's a great gun at tier 6. At tier 7, it's a little bit anemic, but it works. Let's see here. Now, when you're on this side of the map, I don't really like this as much as being on the other side. We're going to make his map a little bit larger. <coughs> Pardon me. Sniff, sniff, cough, cough. This tank is actually pretty fast. Somebody told me it was a slug, but it's faster than the E2. However, I heard it does not have much armor. And looking at the stats, like 70, 50, <laughs> it's pretty low on the armor side. But then again, it is a Sherman. Whoops. Okay, gun tends a little high, so. There we go. Let's see what these guys are doing. Whoa. Nice. But this thing really puts out damage. Wow, my mouse is jumping all over the place. Enemy armor is hit. And finally, after all of those sh that shooting, I'm finally spotted. So it took a long time for my tank to show up. Okay, now they're looking at me, so I need to back down. Get below the terrain line. And that's probably why I'm spotted. We've had... All of our scouts are dead now. That was a great run on their part. They did absolutely nothing. Platoon together as three scouts. Morons. <laughs> and I'm spotted again. So I'm going to pull myself down here. Kind of move away. From this area. We got some damage done though. Whoops. <laughs> little lag there. This is interesting. His mouse... Hmm. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to... While it's quiet for a second, I'm actually going to switch out mouse pads. That's... There we go. I like this mouse... This mouse pad's a little bit tackier. So... You know, it's funny how something like that can make a difference in your gameplay. And having a better mouse... Oh my stars. You got 
T29. Shots, I'm wondering how I miss him. I'm gonna get down behind this ridge because they're gonna, yep. Wow, we are totally gonna get clobbered here. It's not looking good. However, we've got our quadrants locked, but still, this is not a, this match is not going well. Wow. I think the lag is because I'm on the European server. Enemy armor is hit. A lot of jumping, though. It's like, I'll, it's like I'll be all tracked out nice, and then all of a sudden it'll just jerk somewhere else. Oh, boy. That guy's going to hit hard if he hits. guys must not know how to read their maps because yeah I'm just gonna have to man where'd that dude go Target acquired. Penetration. Enemy armor is destroyed. Permission to engage. I wish this guy would lock behind <laughs> well, I'm getting you some points anyway, Mr. Mean. <laughs> uh, I really like this tank. My goodness, this fits my playstyle exactly. You know what? It reminds me of a Chinukai, but a tear up with a better gun. The Chinukai has a good gun, though. Not to, not to knock the Chinukai's gun, but. So what do we got? Still, these guys are getting clobbered. Hopefully this Jag Panther has my back. They're still... Oh, wow. This is it, man. Now, I want to sit back and let this guy come out. I don't know where this dude went. But I don't want to engage him until he's out in the field. Because I won't be able to do anything to the top of his turret. Yeah, we, we know. Okay. <clears throat> He's moving back. So I am going to go after him. We probably will cap before anything happens to him, but... i got to say, I really do like this tank. That was funny. It's like a little gnat. He just swats him down. <laughs> Target acquired. Yeah, so, so far, it's been a great game, man. This guy probably knows where I am at this point, but... I don't want to get too close, because this tank, that's not going to be a confrontation that's going to work with this tank. So, he's cruising along. Actually, gosh, he moved pretty quick. Kind of shocked at how fast he got over there, but... I guess I shouldn't be. T-29 is a pretty able tank. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this ought to be a good game. Oh, yeah. I mean, this tank, look at the damage I did with this thing, man. That kind of map really suits this tank, that big open, the open kind of... Wow. The new tank destroyer, the medium tank. That uh, that was a great game. Look at T-43 did really good, too. Panther, look at his. He got a lot of experience. Didn't do a whole ton of damage, but he was uh, definitely spotting stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you can just look at the list of things that I did. I like this tank. I'll tell you what. This is a great tank. So, this, uh, what we're doing right now, I don't know that this is going to be a great battle for this tank. It's mostly Tier 6. 
However, the fact that we have to go up to the top of the hill, and I really think we need to be up here, though I hate to do it, um, this is not the most optimal spot for this tank because we're going to be pretty close into enemy fire. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get a whole heck of a lot of support up here. Uh, maybe a little bit, but that, I hope that tire comes up. Yep. Nice bounce, though, man. Look at these, these guys. Let's find another target. Here's the thing. So we're totally spotted. And I'm going to leave this. I don't want to... Well, that, that firefly is using the dirt. <laughs> wow, we just took out one of their heavies. That's crazy. Oh. Chaffee? And he's trying to draw me back, so I'm imagining there's somebody else with him. Yeah, but maybe not, huh? I'm taking some some damage from the enemy. Yes, there's that 12T again. I don't know what these guys are doing. Hoping to break his motor. Trying to break his ammo rack. Whoa, how did this T25-2 get up here? And Oh, I thought I was below the ridge. Crap. Yeah, and I can't get up. I can't get down low enough to hit him. So I need to... Uh, whoa. <laughs> Took him out. Wow. So this has not gone so well. Oh, are you kidding? They let these guys out? Well, couldn't do a lot there. Got a guy in front, got a guy in back. <laughs> Still, we did okay at the beginning, but that sucked to get surrounded like that. <laughs> Especially up here on the hill. You know, it's like, what, what are these guys doing? They're, you're not putting enough pressure on that these guys have time to sit there and shoot up. But, uh, yep. I put myself in a bad position. Well, we lost the hill. Might, might have won the war, though, so that's okay. Now, what's interesting is he only has a couple tanks. He doesn't have a ton of stuff, but you'll notice that he's got the Mark of Excellence, Mark of Excellence, Mark of Excellence, oh, Mark of Excellence, Mark of Excellence. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little tip to myself. Oh, ye who has 94 tanks or whatever. <laughs> maybe, maybe less is better. <laughs> you can really concentrate on what you're working on. Don't you just love the teams that throw it away? We had like a three or four tank lead over that team, and they still lost. Morons. <laughs> Not that I played great, but... All right, next. All right. Here's another map that should theoretically suit this tank. Though, I don't... Start out in a really weird spot for it, but... Well, let's go with it. Try to get into a nice sniping position. See what I can see. Try not to camp too hard. Right, there's Rudy. Rudy. Rudy's going around the backside. And he disappeared. Hold on a sec. Let's see. Got a Cromwell. My downside is I don't know how we're gonna spot these guys once they come around the corner. We will not they will not be visible any longer, so. Got a beat on him now, but See down this way. Say, this is actually a pretty good spot. <laughs> Nothing yet. This is like a tier 10 match, man. The pinata shows up. Okay. 
We've got a bunch of them clustered. Well, the C25 is showing up. Oh boy, and as soon as I moved, I got to start getting people in the target areas. There's Rudy. Enemy armor is hit. And I'm gonna get hit by Rudy, but I'm gonna take him out in the move. Enemy is hit. And I didn't take him out, I just didn't do anything. There's more than one tank shooting at me. Yep, knew it. So I'm just going to stay put for a little while. That Cromwell probably will kill me, but... They're knocked down. We're not going to take the job sitting down. Ah, I feel a little better. A little more cover here. And he's going to kill me. Whoops. <laughs> Couldn't do much there. <laughs> like E25, do something. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so I got aggressive too fast. I should have stayed up on top of the hill instead of coming down. Once I started coming down, then I was getting damaged. And yeah, it's, it's too aggressive for this tank. So definitely needs to be back. Still, I got a couple hits and a couple kills. So not too bad. It got a kill. One more battle. These guys are mopping up, man. Mopping up. Oh. Panther almost killed her own guys. This E25 got out by the skin of his Batushki. It's got a broken gun. Almost dead. But uh, Cromwell showed up to help him. Where was he when I needed help? <laughs> and we win. After running this tank, I would even consider, instead of vents, maybe using a... Uh, a camo, like training your crew with camouflage and using a camo net. It seems like they, there's a lot of possibilities for this tank to do different kinds of roles. Uh, I like the sniper role. Like I said, the Chinukai, I use I use uh, the Binox and the camo net, and it works pretty well for that little tank. So Now, this one's a little bit larger, so it might not work as well, but I don't know if your crew is trained up and you've got the camo paint and the camouflage, the camo net, you might actually have a... a a combination for a very good snipe tank because this really doesn't have much armor so you're going to be in those kind of positions anyway you're just going to be support but yeah this is a fine tank I really like it I'm uh, I don't want to say thoroughly impressed but I am impressed seems like it's going to be up to the task of having fun and making some money but doing good you know see here. Surprised nothing has showed up yet. Nothing. <laughs> there they are. La Tigra. And coming on their side, a KV2 in the river. Rudy, Rudy. Rudy hath exposed himself. Possibly. Ooh. Well, 
must be a sign that it's time for us to... Oh, he's aimed right at us. Look at that. Shoe 100 Y. Any shots on these guys yet? Nope. How can that scout be sitting there and not see? Hmm. Does this guy know we're here? Whoa. We didn't penetrate their armor. Yeah. Critical hit. KB2's got a pretty thick skull. Rudy's all alone. Interestingly, Mr. Mean does not have his map, his holding map markers left on. Okay. So we are going to have to defend now. Okay, this is not good. We need to get out of here. Oh boy. Okay, well, most heavies are, most of our heavies are dead. Wait a minute. Where is this guy that he's just sitting out there taking pot shots? With his SG-100Y down in the city. spotted now so I need to move down. <laughs> you thought you was my, I was yours, but you was wrong. We didn't even scratch them. This tire is pushing across pretty heavy. I really haven't hit, I haven't really done much of anything in this battle aside from fire some shots and break a track. But, uh. Gonna move on this guy. It looks like we got two heavies moving up the back. That guy's in big trouble. But we're capping. But still, I can never get over there fast enough. Unfortunately, speed is not this guy's strength, so. Uh huh, and our 12244 shows up in a really bad position for me. Hopefully he'll stay busy. I wish the tiger has had time to identify that I'm over here. Come on, get that gun down, dude. Penetration. It's going to be too late for you, hopefully. Nope. Gotcha. Maybe it's too late for me. Jeez. I got hit by a couple different things, so... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open here and I can't get down. Come on, get it down, get it down, get it down. Oh, We're good for. Everyone get out. <sighs> so mobility is definitely a problem. Um, you know, I could have swung to the side to get the rock. I just was trying, I thought if I got a little further back, but nope. And he brained me pretty much. He just, it's like, he probably could see, nah, he probably could see a good decent portion of my tank. I thought it's somewhere there's got to be a drop off here, but nope. So, eh, it is what it is. It looks like we're still probably going to win anyway, but that was an interesting game. But, yeah, it shows you some of the weaknesses of the tank, too. Obviously, the speed is not going to get you out of any kind of trouble, so that's okay. All right. So, in closing, looks like these guys are going to turn victory into a loss. Good job. 
See what happens here. I think we're going to lose this one. Unbelievable. These guys had it. They freaking blew it. SG-122-44 is going after the artillery now. This guy's spotted, so at least he should be spotted at this point. Maybe not, though. He must be because the artillery is firing. Oh, jeez. Well, it's in your hands, evil dirty devil. Get out of there, buddy. He's got a little while because the other one, the other artillery already fired. So, let's see what happens. Six kills, man. This guy is on the warpath. Yeah, it does look a little bigger than it used to. A little stubbier. But still, it's a pretty cool tank. I'm very excited. I'm almost to this tank now. It's like a little robot. Oh, I'm getting texted. Oh, no. And the artillery is spotted. He may not realize it, but he probably does. Now the ELC, with its amazing turret, <laughs> can't. It's basically a tank destroyer. Oh, look at that! Had no idea. He does now, though. He's like, oh, oh, that was a good move. Almost turned it around. But he just doesn't have the speed. And the <laughs> you'll see totally whiffs. Maybe playing with a little bit of lag. Oh no, what are you doing? Wow. What is this guy? He's just toying with him now. Unbelievable. Is he out of ammo? Nope. Oh. What on earth is this guy doing? Just get it over with. Jeez. Talk about nuts. Seven kills, though. Very good. And that takes care of it for the night. That was not a stellar game for me by any means. Definitely going to take some getting used to. But I like the tank. I really do. I feel like it's a, a, a good, decent tank, and I'm excited to get one. So I'm almost there, about uh, three-quarters of the way through the Sherman, and then there's some grinding to do in this one, but I'm very excited. So anyway, have a great night, guys. Thank you for watching.